The Morning Office for November 27th Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before His presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to Him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. Show us the light of your countenance, O God, and come to us. To you I lift up my eyes, to you enthroned in the heavens. As the eyes of the servants look to the hand of their masters, and the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to you, our God, until you show us mercy. I will bear witness that the Lord is righteous. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. The morning reading is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 3, verses 16 through 18. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus said, For this is how God loves the world. He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him may not perish, but have eternal life. For God sent His Son into the world not to judge the world, but so that the world through Him might be saved. No one who believes in Him will be judged, but whoever does not believe is judged already, because that person does not believe in the name of God's only Son. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bear witness that the Lord is righteous. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. The morning psalm is read from Psalms chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. Lord, how many adversaries I have, how many there are who rise up against me, how many there are who say of me, there is no help for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield about me. You are the glory and the lifter of my head. For I called aloud upon the Lord, and he answered me from his holy hill. I laid down and I slept. I woke again, for the Lord sustains me. I will bear witness that the Lord is righteous. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, and carry me under the shadow of your wings. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, give us all the grace to cast away the works of darkness, and put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son Jesus Christ came to visit us in great humility, that in this last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen.